Okay. So we're getting ready to stick a Saturday governor housing on. I'm gonna go over everything here. Need to make sure the washer and the two springs on the seat. Make sure that is on there. Make sure that none of the fly weights are pulled out. Make sure the rack is free. Okay. And make sure boat torqued, 35 to 40 foot pounds, lock tighted. You got the new seals in. Everything looks good. Let's get ready and put it on. Okay, you wanna make sure that this does not get bent when you put it on there because that contacts that little fella right there. So when they set the fuel settings, they use a continuity light hooked up to that. So when that makes, con makes a, when the light comes on, when that touches that, it gets continuity and that tells you your first setting, that'd be your F, FLS. And then whenever the dial indicator stops moving, that's your FTS. FLS, F yeah, I think that's right. So, all right, let's put her on here. So you want to start that in there. There's some dials that it has to start on. The longest of the boats go up top in these holes. Okay, I want to show you something. Uh, I probably built this pump myself years ago. And they have what's called breakaway boats. They have a head on them and a collar and you tighten them down until it snaps off the head. Well, when it snaps off the head, it's tamper resistant. That means nobody can get in here and mess with your uh, governor stuff. I just want to show you a little something here. This is our manual shutdown. Here's our rack. That is in the full load position. And as you move this, watch your rack. Takes it to the shutdown position. So, whenever you do this, there's always opportunity for something crazy to go wrong. So you always want to put you, besides your electric shutdown solenoid, you'll want to put a pair of these locking pliers or some means of shutting this down manually and it wouldn't hurt to take the intake pipe off at the intake the after cooler pipe and have a big piece of plywood or pine board or something heavy duty that you can you can uh, choke the air off of it because it, it it is possible to get these uh, tooth out and they run away okay not to scare you but and i even as another fail safe whenever i do them i like to have the a paddle or something to choke out the air or this on there and I keep a hammer for a last ditch effort to start knocking fuel lines off if it runs away try to save the engine so okay so I got this cleaned up I've got a new gasket on it I put a little 77 to hold it in place it goes right here so we'll put that on and we want to torque the boats from the center out that's just a good practice with anything <laughs> And that's the way we're going to do it. Okay, something else. Most generally speaking, <clears throat> this is your inlet. This is your return. Uh, most generally. Honestly, do I think it would matter? Probably not because it all goes in the same channel. The only thing that is significant is on your return, most of the time, in some way, it will be orificed to cause a restriction on the return. Okay, I, that keeps this full of fuel. So, if you'll notice, you know, <clears throat> with this, it's just a smaller fitting coming out than what it would be going in, which I think this was missing the, uh, the JIC fitting uh, 
for the inlet, but I'm pretty sure this is the return. It'll go right here. We'll put a new O-ring on that. Okay, so we put a new O-ring on the orifice fitting, put the fitting in the return. There wasn't one for this, so I will plug it with a, a plug of some sort. I put in the rack pinning hole plug right there, and I put in the cam pinning plug. Now this one I'm not gonna tighten up real tight because when you put it on the truck and you go to put the timer and the lance on, you'll have to be back in here to pin the pump. Okay, like I said, most of the rest of this stuff is nothing technical about it. Replace the seals on both of these covers, this side and this side. Replace the seals, put them on, replace the seals on your plugs. Uh, just put it back the way you took it apart. Most of this stuff, you know, uh, is not that technical. I like to, whenever I build these, I go ahead and order the mounting seals. Takes one big and one smaller uh, for the back side where it mounts the block and then the one on the front that mounts the front cover. So I, they'll have that. Uh, I still lack the fuel transfer pump, which there's nothing really technical about that either. Two boats, boats it on. Uh, the air fuel ratio, there's a little trick to the air fuel ratio, which we're not ready for that yet. There is a little flipper in here you have to hook. And I don't know, let me get my light. Maybe possibly, let's see that little slot right there? Well, your air fuel ratio hooks into that slot. I was looking to see if I could find the foot here to show you. But anyway, it hooks into the 